seeing yourself in the camera, it's weird. Anyways, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. It's been a minute since we were here. Christmas holidays, you know how it goes. COVID, this and that. Riding's come to an end because of the, uh, well, it's winter, it's really cold out today. We're in the shop, we're gonna do some improvements to the old high lifter. It's my 2017 high lifter Razor 1000 on 34 inch Moto Havocs. And uh, yep, she's a good rig. Safari Rack, if you're new to the channel, I haven't seen that before, but yep. This thing goes everywhere. I have to run through, go hunt camp with it and mudding with it and lots of stuff. But the one thing that we're missing is uh, radio. Mm hmm. Missing some tunes. We had a party bar installed and uh, it just it just gave out. We're gonna go over that later on. But for now, look at this bad boy. Exo gear. Super pumped. This thing is supposed to be badass. See in the intro, it's waterproof, it's mud proof, it's sand proof, it's shock proof, snow proof. That's what we need on this channel. Yep. That's all we need. We need all the weathers, all of them, because I like to send it and power wash it and get it dirty and muddy and it's gonna be mint. It's got some sweet lights, 500 watts, four mid-range, two tweeters, two woofers, sick mounts, really nice remote with case and all the hardware. All of it, even blocked out. So we're gonna mount it, we're gonna get it in. We're gonna fire it up, we're gonna see what it sounds like. And we're gonna go over what my old bar looks like and what did it sound like and do a comparison. Uh, yeah, gotta get the old wiring harness out that was in there. Just right here and out of the seat. Pop it out, cause the old one used to have a draw on it. Hopefully we can rectify that with all the new wiring in there. So it should be easy to do with the old wiring. Hook onto it, pull it out. With that being said, I guess we should uh, get doing that, shall we? Mm -hmm. Let's go. That's what you need in the shop right there. Mm -hmm. That's what you need. Good old tea. Twisted tea. So we're gonna go over my old sound bar. It's a bazooka, party bar, worked pretty good. Had cool lights on it here and on the end. Adequately loud, like it was pretty good. You didn't have to have it cranked in the cap, it was loud. Didn't have any bass, like none, but it worked pretty good. The remote for it didn't last very long and it ate batteries and then it would also eat the battery on the razor. I don't know if I had a short somewhere. I'm looking at the wiring now and it is ran pretty long, we did tuck it up nicely, but it always, it always just killed the battery all the time, so you had to keep unplugging it. Then out of nowhere, I had in the shop one day, because I use it as a radio in the shop, just died. It made these weird clickety sounds. It just wouldn't work anymore, just quit. The lights would flicker blue like it was going to Bluetooth, but it wouldn't work. It still had warranty left, but where we are, it cost 175 or $200 to ship it one way to see if they could fix it. So that's two, $300 if they couldn't fix it, then I was out the whole thing anyways. So I, I didn't bother fixing it. The ExoGear, um, actually you can get a four year warranty, which includes the shipping, which is freaking sweet. So if it ever breaks for any reason at all, I can just ship it back to them and they'll fix it and send it back. So that's pretty good, that's a lot better. A couple things on here, your pause for back lights are on the back of the light bar. So when it was hung, you had to reach behind the bar and find the buttons, no idea what you're pressing. And a lot of time you need to use it because the remote didn't work. Exogear did it right. It's all in the front. They're big buttons, easy to read, indicated very well, and the, the quality looks just ridiculous on it. So without even firing it up, there's there's already there's already vast improvements between the two. The Exogear, I would say the speakers are pretty, pretty close. These might be a little bit bigger. The overall diameter, the overall diameter's pretty close, almost spot on. Exogear is maybe a touch, a touch bigger. And it's a touch longer, so I'm not sure if my old mounts are gonna work. We have to move them a little bit. I love this, like almost weaved carbon look. It's really sweet. It'd be a lot easier to clean than this mesh, as you can see how dirty it is. And the end speakers look pretty all the same. These look like they might be a little softer. But not gonna knock the bazooka. It worked. Um, it was four hundred and. $50 when it came out, they're more money now. The extra gear was a bit a bit more money, but again, that was with a four year warranty, so better value too. The Bazooka did work. It's a good sounding bar. If you have one and are thinking about getting it, I wouldn't turn it down, especially if you live in the States, because shipping is so much easier there. 
than trying to get it across. Plus these things weigh a lot. So I don't know, pretty excited. I think the, uh, the extra gear just looks like a little little bit better of a piece. So we will find out, we'll get it wired in there and see how it sounds. I can't obviously test the sound for you guys on the bazooka because it doesn't work anymore, but we can certainly do it on the uh, exo gear. I'm pumped, so pumped. Apologize for the noise, it's winter. It's minus 12 or 15 outside. The heater comes on quite a bit. First step to the exo gear mount here is your two end pieces, so you kind of have to line it up in your rig to see what angle you want it on. And while mine tipped it down a little bit, because the roof tips down, so we want the sound to kind of follow. And then these end plates, there's you can get, either get three bolts in or four. I was able to get four, just depending on your rotation. And you just put them where you want, line them up the other side, and put these four bolts in. That's simple. That's it. Super sturdy. It even gives you more protection on the end. And uh, yeah, so weird. GoPro 10, screen on it. Not used to that. I keep looking over there and I should look over there. It shut off now on the which way to look at. Funny, I hope the quality is better. Should be. Not cheap, not cheap. New SD card too. Mm hmm Need the good stuff. Anyways, it's all for you guys. All for you. For you 58 subscribers for 59. Uh-huh, things I do. Mm-hmm. Okay, progress here, you can see I tried to uh, try to be hero and put it all together up there at the same time, but that was no way going to work. So I took it back apart and just grabbed the mounts. Um, I had these made already for my other system. So it's just, what is that? One by quarter, which is lots heavy, but it gives us some structure just through the poly roof. These roofs are, all these, all the roofs are a lot strong for this. Uh, yeah, so I just run through the roof to keep it tight and then I have a one inch spacer to keep it down a little bit. Two reasons. One just keeps away from the roof a little more and more room. Secondly, when the light bar is up there, it'll, if you bring it down that inch, you can actually see the light bar or if, you, if I didn't bring it down, the safari rack, another shit would be in the way. So if you bring it down the inch, you can see, you'll, you <laughs> Bring it down the inch, you'll be able to see the light bar at the back. That's the, that's why I brought it down. You lose a little bit of headroom, but it'll look better. So now I'm gonna grab it, see if I can put it up there by myself. It looks minty. I like it. She worked just great. Yep. Ooh. That's sick. That sounds good. So I think the wiring uh, like complete. It's just kind of ran right now, but man, that sounds that sounds really good. That's got uh, definitely more bass than the bazooka for sure. I'd say overall loudness is probably pretty close. When you get this thing full of jam, it's got a bit of static to it, but sort of the bazooka. A little more bass, sound quality is but the same. Uh, yeah, this one's maybe a little louder. It's been quite a while since I had the other one. So yeah, it's, that's freaking sick. I like how the back has the white, the white is, is freaking looks wicked. I wish it would do the, the offsetting colors, like the rush, like the purple and the blue. It only has things, three colors, but it still looks good. And then at nighttime, you're just 
on the trails, having some teas, listening to music. It lights up the whole back, which is sweet because then you can grab your next water, tea. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's freaking epic. Love it. Freaking sick. I like how like everything's just right there. So easy. It connected instantly. You can change your lights, turn them on and off from here. You can change the backlight, turn it on and off. The uh, white has two different colors. You can go lighter, brighter, red, yellow, bright white, softer white, softer again white. So three different whites and then off. Yeah, that looks so cool. Lights up a lot anytime. Like it. That looks sick. Finish her up tomorrow. Get her wired in. Mm-hmm. Good times. Get a bit of a stack here. I think I have one more. I think I have one more. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah. Found a better song with better quality. It's definitely louder than the bazooka. Way louder. Next day, mm -hmm. I uh, got the tunes going and uh, yeah, they were going down pretty good. There's the old wiring pulled out. I cheated a little bit, a little bit. I could change it later, but got that all wired in. Looking fresh, got some nice clamps. Ran it up and then I was going to drill a hole here and run the line up to there and in, but I just, I ran it through the back window holder and put a clamp in there. Anyways, done. Looks good. Yeah, the old wiring, we had it like through here, down here, across, up through, up through here, down through the floor and into the battery box. We were aggressive when we did the wiring the first time, obviously, because a lot of wiring. As you can see, that'll wrap it up for this video. Mm-hmm. Yep. Fun times. I'm glad we got some tunes back. If you liked it, you know what to do. Subscribe. Give it a big old thumbs up. We'll puck and see you later.